like a crackling fire on a cold night. It warms the body and the soul. Hmm? Yeah, like my soul could use a little comfort. You know, throughout history, man has always been fascinated by fire. If I tell you something, will you promise not to laugh? I promise. When I was a little girl, I used to love to sit by the fire and stare at the flames. I saw people that, that I had known that died. I really did. I mean, like my grandmother. It was very strange, but I, I mean, there's no explanation for it, but I, I really saw them. Well, that's not that all far-fetched, you know. There are cultures where fire has represented uh, the eternal spirit of life. <laughs> I think you're very sweet to try and find a rational explanation for that. Tell me, how does it feel being back in old Pine Valley? Truthfully, hmm. it's a little strange. Oh, well, that's to be expected. I mean, you've had so much upheaval in your life. But I'm sure you'll be feeling at home very soon. I hope so. Oh, I can't tell you how delighted we are to have you and little Laura with us. That aunt of yours has hardly left her side since you arrived. Oh, I know. Seeing Mrs. Valentine are upstairs, they're staring at her and she's sleeping. <laughs> well, you must bear with them. They're thrilled to death to have a baby in the house again. No, oh, I know they are. They were arguing before about how wide the window should be left open. <laughs> I think I'm going to get more help than I want. Well, you've got to bear with them. It's only, it's only for a time, you know, until the carriage house is freshened up a bit. Well, that's something else. You know, Aunt Baby really shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. Oh, my dear, she loves it. I'm sorry, I'd like to stay and chat. But I've really got work to do. I've got some, I've got some reading before that archaeology class of mine. Oh, I have some work to do, too, so you go ahead. All right. See you later. Mm-hmm. I called Kelly's looking for you. She told me. Oh, oh? Is that all you have to say? Why didn't you tell me that you decided to move back to Pine Valley? So all we gotta do is... Hey, hey, do I know talent or do I know talent? The guys are dynamite. Oh, the audience seemed to like us. Like you. I didn't think they were gonna give off, let you off the stage. Hey, it's a good crowd out there, right? Man, it's packed yeah. house in the bar. Did you see the bar? The word of mouth is good, huh? Hey, listen, the business that you're bringing in, I think there could be money for both views. Word, word. Right, man. So I gotta get back out there. Listen, keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, Jesse, they loved us. Yeah, hey, I'm feeling good. We're getting better. We're getting better now that he's gonna up some money. We set. Oh, I am so happy. Quick, pinch me. Pinch me if I'm dreaming. Hey, if you are, you got company, baby. <laughs> but you still got one problem. Oh, Marty. Yeah, well, I think maybe he'll settle down now that, um, I, um... Now that, go ahead and say it. Now that you ain't giving me half your money, right? Oh, let's not start on that again, okay, Jesse? <sighs> yeah, right. Why spoil the moment, huh? Partner! <laughs> you know that? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Get your hands off of a hubby. Well, I had a lovely evening, but I've got to be getting home. Oh, no, no, please don't go. <laughs> Mother's going to be here soon, I know, and she would just be so disappointed. Liza, I'm you. disappointed. I didn't get to see her, too, but it's kind of late, okay? It was a lovely dinner. Thanks. You're a pretty good cook. You really surprised me. Hey, there's a lot you don't know about me. Well, I'm sure that's true. I mean, even though we work together every day, there's a lot I don't know about you, either. 
Oh, I don't know that there's that much to know. Maybe you're not the best judge of that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is the real reason that you invited me here tonight? Well, you know why. I wanted to do something nice for my mother. Well, I know that's what you told me. Are you sure there isn't something else? What do you mean? Well, I have gotten a distinct impression all night long that I'm here for something other than to just cheer your mother up. Am I wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. What the hell's wrong with me? Zach, it's, it's all right. I don't believe what I'm doing. Zach, would you just calm down? Calm down? I'm the one who's always telling you to trust me, and, and then I... What kind of guy am I? I'm just cracking the books as usual, but I can certainly use a break. Come on in. Okay. Yeah, I won't stay long. I, uh, I just came over to, uh, well, here, this is for you. For me? Yeah, well, actually, it's for you and Jesse, but, uh, hey, he won't mind if you open it up now. Go ahead. Come on, open it up. Okay. Mm. Guys, what can it be? Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. <gasps> oh, I can't wait for Jesse to see it. Mm, mm. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love it. But you didn't have to get a frame and everything. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. I mean, after all the things you guys have done for me, all the dinners and everything, and just, just putting up with me in general, I wanted to. Well, we love having you over. You know that. Thank well, now let's see. Where shall I put it? favorites. Yeah. Yeah, mine too. You know, her birthday's coming up. Yeah, that's right. November 17th. She would have been, uh, 19. Oh, she was so young. I miss Jenny too, Greg. But you've got to go on with your life. Yeah, I know, Angie. I just, sometimes I get the feeling, though, that I'm just going through the motions here. I, uh, nothing seems to mean much without Jenny. She'd hate to hear you talking that way. I know, Angie, but sometimes I, sometimes I feel so angry. And I keep asking myself, why, why did she have to die? I mean, there's no good reason. You're right, there is no good reason. I think of all the you know, rotten people in this world, all the murderers and rapists, and you know, I know, I know it. I know it's an awful thing to say, but the, why, why, why do people like that have to live, and, and somebody like Jenny has to die? I mean, I just, I just don't understand it sometimes. Would you rather never have known Jenny at all? I don't think so. And that's why you've got to be grateful for the time that you did have together. I know that, Angie. It was just too damn short, that's all. 